Hey guys, it's New York Dan here. I happen to find some microphone pieces outside a trailer. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers, right? So anyway, just getting going here, and I found out breaking news. Hurricane Milton, it's been upgraded to a Cat 5 hurricane. That's pretty severe. This just happened when I was setting my camera up. I just heard about this. Mm. Just 1% milk and fresh ground coffee from Whole Bean. Really good stuff. Best cup of coffee I ever had in my life. And it's healthy because I don't put a lot of crap in here. It's not Maxwell House either. This is premium coffee. I'll show you what I got. This stuff, it costs a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Let me show you. Hold up. All right. Check this out. This is what I got. This is real coffee. This is the good stuff. Pete's. I got it at Target. It's not, you don't have to be a millionaire to buy good coffee. They had these bags on sale, $8 each when you buy two. And the only catch is they're a little smaller than normal, 10.5 ounces. But I got the medium roast, big bang. And you can see right on the back, it says whole bean. And I grind it up fresh. You're not going to get the freshness if you buy that ground up stuff. And I'm going to tell you something else. Whoop. Okay, forget about it. The bag fell. Um, if you buy that ground up stuff and it's got all kinds of flavorings with it, like uh, pumpkin or uh, honey, there's a few. Uh, hazelnut, that's the one Tim's always boasting about. Guess what? They're putting crap into that ground coffee to flavor it up. It doesn't taste that way naturally. You got to add sugary stuff into that coffee they don't tell you that part even the whole bean i notice there's flavored whole beans like french vanilla what they do is if you look at the beans you're going to see they're very shiny that's because they're coated with some kind of sugary french vanilla taste and then when you grind them up that hence that's where the flavor comes from if you get regular whole bean coffee the beans look like they're real. They're not doctored up. That's the thing. I'll show you this one here. Grab it anyway. Whoa. Maybe I drank too much coffee. Okay. I don't think so. Here's. I'm not drinking cup after cup like Tim. And then he wonders why he has like problems with glaucoma, right? They said you shouldn't be drinking caffeinated beverages if you have that kind of problem going on this is what it looks like right here you see how dry these beans are that's what you want if they even this one has it looks a little shiny there is some oil in the coffee naturally but this is the real thing you know if it's all if these are all coated with some shiny junk it's been uh, sugared up they played with it before you even open the bag. So, something to keep in mind when you're out doing your coffee shopping. Yeah, these guys, so the big thing is Tim's trying this carnivore diet. I left a comment for him. Not that anyone will see it. It's just for him. I said, you should eat veggies with that too. It's pretty much an experiment, eating all bacon and you're just having meat products that's another guy on youtube that i follow old guy carnivore he's doing the same thing he's 77 years old this guy mitch he's been doing the diet over a year and he lost a lot of weight which is good he claims the problem is people can be carb addicts where if you're eating carbs you're you can't stop yourself from like overeating but it may not be the carbs themselves that are doing the problem. They may, it may just be the quantity if you have a problem where you're addicted to them.
And also, I don't know why these guys are anti-vegetables. I bet if you ate vegetables and you did like a carnivore diet, but you also balanced it out with veggies, that's probably the healthiest thing. Because when you're on carnivore, you're not getting enough fiber. It's not good for the colon. So I watch these guys. I'm just curious how it's going, you know, how what they're doing. Now, this guy, Mitch, he's a retired guy in Florida, just like um, Tim. And he lives over in Melbourne, Florida. And he's in a, like, manufactured home, he says, modular. It's not a trailer that you can, like, tow. This is like something built, almost built like a trailer, and they plop it down on a cement slab, from my understanding. So anyway, he's getting prepared for this hurricane. Milton is it's barreling down toward Florida. I'm going to give you guys a weather update coming right up here. Remember that old board game? You guys remember they made a lot of games, and uh, I think they even made like crayons and different things. Milton Bradley. Remember that? That used to be big. I don't know if they're still, they might still be making stuff, but used to be a big thing. I don't know anyone personally named Milton. I don't know how popular that name is anymore. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that. Also, I wanted to mention, I noticed a weird thing. Yesterday, I left a response to a viewer's comment in um, my video where I went over to the Mets to watch the Mets at the sports bar. And mysteriously, the whole thing's gone with the comment or whatever today. What the heck? Is it a trigger, some kind of trigger word in YouTube or some weird thing? It just vanished off the comment? I went in and tried to snake through all these comment settings and whatnot and i tried to turn off any kind of uh blockage or restrictions on them i don't get it it somehow maybe the the algorithm picked something up in the comment that caused it to just magically erase it very strange stuff because we weren't talking about anything bad in the comments okay what happened was, I'm going to tell you because it got erased. The guy was asking me, how do you do all the stuff you do? Like, it must be expensive. And I replied with a pretty, the comment I replied with was pretty long. Maybe that had something to do with it. But I was telling him, I'm like, believe it or not, I don't spend that much money. I do things that I get good deals on. Also, I don't, I'm not doing it with a whole family. It's just my girlfriend and I. So sometimes we split up things or we take turns paying. That makes a huge difference. When I went out to the Hamptons, the winery tour that I did, the playlist, if you look in the playlist on my videos, you'll see it. What we do is we stayed at a house that was my grandma's house, okay? So we didn't have to pay for a hotel. That saved a ton of money. Just the hotel cost out there or bed and breakfast, it would cost more money than we spent on the entire trip, right? Now, we had a lot of her friends came, and we were hanging out, having a great time. You'll see in the videos, right? Well, the good thing is everyone's paying for themselves. The wineries can be real expensive, but if you're just paying for yourself, essentially, it's not bad at all. And then it's just the cost of gas driving out there. The cruises, I'm going to do a whole video on this later, but I get casino deals where they actually comp to me a cruise. They give me offers. I'm going to do a whole video coming up. So the bottom line is I try to live large, but do it frugally without spending a ton of money on things. So yeah, I'm, that's how I do it. My, my bends, someone left a comment about my bends. In, in the video I did over at the diner, the waterfall video, I showed you my Benz diesel, right? Believe it or not, it looks very expensive, but I paid chump change for that car. I only paid somewhere in the neighborhood a little over three grand for the car, okay? So 
that's part of how I do it. I am, I'm very smart about what I do, and that's part of it. Um, so anyway, let me, I'm switching gears, trying to figure all the stuff out I want to cover. By the way, I did want to mention, I wanted to ask viewers too, okay? I saw a video that came up, I think yesterday I was doing YouTube, watching it, kicking back. By the way, that's another savings I do. I don't even have cable TV. Nope. I have high-speed internet. I only pay 40 a month for through my cable company. It's fiber, and it's amazingly fast. I just watch YouTube stuff. Why should I pay for the damn cable TV? And a lot of stuff you can see right on YouTube, like the world news and stuff, you can see it. You just got to wait a few hours. They put it on at around 10 o'clock at night. So that's another saver right there. Why pay for something? You can get a ton of entertainment for free. Like the cable costs are insane around here. I know one of my friends is paying around 200 a month for cable, TV, and internet. It's ridiculous. Okay, what I was going to say, the video put up by Atomic Sage, I happened to see the one yesterday. I was amazed. They've taken it to the next level, and I'm wondering how they do this. If anyone can, if anyone knows, leave in the comments how complicated is this. They got apparently, I was schooled last time. They said Atomic Sage is Einstein. I was like, What I thought it was like Jerry Garcia with the great the hair and stuff in the little emoji. So, anyway, they got an Einstein. And they got it, it must be with AI, with AI, artificial intelligence. Pretty amazing stuff. They got this Einstein animated and talking, hosting the video. I, I, they blew my mind. How do you do, how does a regular guy who's not like a computer expert do this kind of crap? Can this be done with like that chat GPT or something? Or how do you do this with AI? Leave in the comments if you guys know. Is this something that can be done simply? Or is this, are we talking you got to be like a computer geek to figure this stuff out? I was amazed that you could do stuff like that. And they put a lot of work into the video too. Um, or it looks that way. They have a whole Winnebago that says Sarasota Tim. And it's like professional looking. It has like a nameplate on it. Wow. I don't know. How, it's this, I want to know how to do this stuff. It's cool. So hats off to that. To uh, Atomic Sage there. So Sarasota Tim. The hurricane. It turned out. First he was saying it was just going to be rain. Turned out things got bad fast. He got his neighbors, or his old neighbors, Raffaella, who I hear makes very good food, and this guy Fred that she is apparently married to, perhaps. He calls her Miss Raffaella, though, implying that she may be single. Go figure. So anyway... Our hero, Sarasota Tim, okay? You know what this reminds me of? Star Wars. You remember Han Solo? He swoops in. Uh, C-3PO, R2-D2, Princess Leia. Who else was there? Luke, maybe. They needed to get out of there. They had to get away. They had to escape. So Tim swoops in. Someone's ringing my phone. An unknown caller. Great suspected spam call unbelievable tim swoops in to save the day right just like han solo he's like i'll get you out of here i got me the millennium falcon that's right the flag staff we're gonna get in that and we're gonna get the hell out of here before this hurricane hits I'm surprised he didn't break out his damn vest from Publix like the Han Solo wear to uh, drive that thing out of there. So he's headed up as we speak. I saw his video. He found the campground in Georgia. 
He's at it right now, but apparently he can't stay there. He's only got two nights. Then he's got to move the whole rig further out to escape the hurricane. Depending on which track it goes, who knows what's going to happen here. I'm on the edge of my seat. He was just talking about, I was curious about this myself. I saw him filming in the truck. I, didn't, I don't see Raffaella or Fred there. The other day he's driving. He shows the Dometic refrigerator in the back. Okay, I guess he's got one of them up front and one in the back. But he told me today on his video, he said they're riding with him in the truck. And he also talked, which I was curious about, sleeping arrangement. He said his theater chairs actually fold out so they could be like a bed. And he was he's boasting about how comfortable it is. And he also said he had to make some personal sacrifice. He's got a full bed in the back of the trailer, and I think he's sacrificing. He's letting Raf Miss Raffaella sleep in the full bed. And he asked Fred, how does the couch feel? How does the home theater seat feel? Is it comfy enough for you? <laughs> Because I, I think Tim might be in the full bed, too. I don't know. But he's bringing them. He's rescuing them, keeping them away from the hurricane. And we'll see what happens with that. I'm also watching that guy, old guy carnivore, the guy Mitch I was talking about. He says the hurricane is headed right for him. His uh, manufactured home is essentially a trailer that sit it onto a slab. It, he cannot move it. He said he trusts it though. He has a sun porch. The sun porch is not, or the sun room, it's not really built heavy duty. It's just like thin metal with screens. He's worried about that blowing away or more damage. And he said he really doesn't want to be in the home when the hurricane hits. So he's taking it day by day, and he said he's got to get out of there by Wednesday if he wants to escape the hurricane and not have to ride it out in the manufactured home. So a lot's been going on. Everyone's watching this thing, and this could be a complete disaster for the Gulf Coast. It's going to hit there the hardest, move across Florida, by the time it gets to Mitch on, in Melbourne, Florida, it may slow down a bit. But still, it's, it's looking bad. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to do an update on this. So here's the latest on Milton. It turned into the Category 5 hurricane. This just happened around noontime today. And I looked at the track. Wednesday is the day. It's going to, they'll be feeling the effects of it, but it's going to be right dead over Tampa. They were saying by 8 p.m. Wednesday evening. So you can bet earlier in the day Wednesday, they're going to feel the effects of it. It's now over 160 mile per hour winds. It may slow down a little bit, they're saying, by the time it gets to Tampa. But you can see that 8 a.m. Wednesday, 145 mile per hour winds. And it's going to start getting the coast of Sarasota and Tampa probably in the morning of Wednesday. So it's pretty scary stuff, a hurricane that strong. And unfortunately, it looks like it could affect and really like wipe out, unfortunately, Sanibel Island, Captiva Island. I've been there on vacation. It's just a little bit north of Naples. And they've been hit before, just the other year. Their causeway bridge got wiped out. It's really bad. So, guys, I don't think we need to hear that commercial, so I broke it off. But anyway, you guys are wondering about my little birds. You hear them sometimes. This is one of my birds right here. He's got a little feather on his beak here. What's going on? If we get that off. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, we'll keep an eye on this hurricane. I'll be back.
if I'm on the edge of my seat with this stuff going on, I'll have to post a video if something comes up, you know, keep an eye on it. Hope everyone's safe, has a good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on when you're watching this. Hit the thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.